Trump campaign's dangerously malignant and cartoonishly incompetent efforts to steal the election are not over yet. Rudy Giuliani today appeared before a federal judge in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, to make sweeping and baseless claims in a last-ditch effort to keep the state from certifying its election results. That's obviously what they're trying to do in state after state. Now, it is a state that Joe Biden has won by more than 73,000 votes, and some still left to count. Today's court appearance by Giuliani comes after the Trump campaign dropped their most serious allegations in the case and two different sets of lawyers quit. And then just yesterday, the cam campaign replaced them with Mark Scaringi. He's a lawyer and a talk show host who said on the day the race was called for Joe Biden that, quote, litigation will not work and re to reverse this election. Now, the Trump campaign has put one man in charge of its election stealing efforts. The jack of all trades, the hero of the battle of the four seasons land total landscaping, the star of the new Borat movie, Donald Trump's impeachment bag man, America's mayor. You know him. You love him. The Roadster. No matter he hasn't argued before a federal judge in 28 years, his membership to the D.C. bar is administratively suspended for non-payment of fees, and he reportedly wants $20,000 a day for his services. That guy was arguing for the president before a federal judge today, unspooling fakakta conspiracy theories worthy of a Newsmax interview. I'm joined now by the attorney who argued against Rudy Giuliani in court today, representing Philadelphia. Allegheny, Montgomery, and Chester County's Mark Aronchik. Uh, Mr. Aronchik, it's good to have you on. First, I wonder if we could just start with what was the case? What, w what was the Trump campaign asserting? What was the argument before this judge? The Trump campaign came in uh, through Mr. Giuliani asserting a fantasy world. Uh, it was a case that uh, somehow involves 11 different states in a gigantic conspiracy with the biggest cities in the United States all joining in to uh, somehow manufacture votes and change mail-in ballots and uh, somehow throw the election to Joe Biden. And uh, I sat there dumbfounded uh, because the story that was presented by Mr. Giuliani bore no relationship to the actual complaint in the case. And, uh, you know, when you're in court, uh, you have to talk about the complaint. You have to talk about your facts. You have to talk about the law. When you're at Four Seasons Total Landscaping, I guess you can talk about anything. Uh, there seemed to be no distinction uh, in what I heard today. And I pointed that out very strongly to, to the court. So. The, again, the complaint, I mean, it sounded like he just sort of gave gave a kind of Giuliani monologue about all the nefarious actors who are trying to steal the election, independent from whatever the kind of legal claims they were pursuing was. But am I right that the remedy they're seeking here is to throw out all the votes in Allegheny County and, and, and in Philadelphia? Yeah, the, it, it was interesting. The remedy kept multiplying as Mr. Giuliani was talking. It started off that he was after 680,000 votes, and by the time he finished, uh, his uh, his speech, uh, I think we were up to a million two hundred thousand votes, and counting. I guess uh, it it, it uh, it's absurd on its face. Uh, in fact, the whole presentation was absurd on its face. The but I think what was telling was that when you're in a court and you have to sometimes explain yourself, uh, you have to answer questions to the uh, that the judge asks, and the judge pressed. Is this about fraud? And where is it pled that this is about fraud? And after some hemming and hawing, Mr. Giuliani basically said, no, this wasn't a, 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 a complaint based on fraud. Uh, instead, it was based on some kind of a, um, all I can say is some kind of strange conspiracy uh, idea. But what was also telling was that his opening statement practically was that he wanted to amend the complaint again. In other words, they've already amended this complaint once and took out almost everything that they had pled initially. All sorts of propositions fell out of the case. He then said some of that was a mistake. He wanted to put them back in. He wanted to, he wanted to amend the complaint again. It was, uh, you know, the proverbial moving target. 